Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going over the new collection released by ColourPop. I did not buy everything because I'm only one woman, but I did end up buying some new things with the collection with the butterflies and things that they released for spring. It was kind of an impulse buy. I'm on a low buy, but this is one of the only things I've really bought except for the Bite Beauty Astrological Signs uh, lipsticks. I really haven't been buying much this year, so I was like, why not? And so I did. And one of the items I got was Pretty Fly. And that's the name of the collection. And this is actually the eyeshadows. And here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you. These colors aren't the most exciting. I ended up buying this because of the box. <laughs> I know. Everybody's like, you idiot. It's true. I ended up buying it because of the box. I really wanted it and I knew the colors weren't that great and I bought them anyway and you know it was okay you know I did end up wearing these I'm wearing it on my eye now um I ended up wearing four of these colors and I'll put it to the side as well so you can see what they look like without the caps but I ended up using orange in the crease which is difficult because you know I'm not really a big fan I love the shockers but I don't like their matte so much because they don't go on well with the brush you really should use your fingers so with brushes, it takes a lot of application, and you got to be patient, and I'm not a big fan of that necessarily. So I'm going to be honest. I, I, there's two mattes in here, and they weren't my favorite. Um, I also used the dark brown, and it, it got stuck a little bit in the corner, so it was kind of hard to, you know, because you need to use your fingers, and I used a brush, and it doesn't move as well unless you use your fingers. So I tend to avoid the matte formulas and stick with the shimmers just so I can put them across the eye by using my finger. That's how I roll, but the two mattes came into this. So... Again, I don't use mattes too much from ColourPop. It's just not, I just prefer a drier formula, but they have the best shimmers. And I'll go ahead and put some swatches to the side, but um, this one, the, the one up here is a little bit deceptive because it's actually more of um, a topper. So what I did is I used this one here, which... Um, fly with you a oh, flux with you I took flux with you and I put it on my lid and then I took force behavior yeah that's the name of it force behavior and then I put the shimmer onto the lid on top of it and then into the the duct here to add a little bit of sparkle but yeah I feel like it's okay they last a long time they follow this exact formula of color pop you know shadows but um I totally bought these because I wanted the box I know, but you know what? I actually do like these colors a lot. The orange here is really lovely. I love this purple. You know, this one I wouldn't wear this time of year. Um, the brown was a little bit hard to work with, again, just because of the brush. The same thing with this, this one here. But I really love these three colors. So, And I do love this color, but I wouldn't wear this till fall. So, yeah, these definitely follow the formula, though this one is more of a topper, so you're not going to, if you put it across your eye using your finger, it's going to be a light dusting of glitter. So if you don't like glitter, just be wary of this one because it's basically a glitter bomb, and it's a topper. So that may disappoint some, but yes, so it's definitely workable. I'm wearing it now. It's kind of fun, and there you have it. So the uh, next items are actually the lipsticks. I only wanted some of them, but... Like an idiot, I hit the one getting them all, and so I have all of them. Even though I won't wear half these colors, um, I'm not wearing it right now. This is actually Bite Beauty's Aries that was released. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and swatch Lightest from Darkest, though I shouldn't have worn this before doing it, but I actually wasn't going to do this video today, but I realized I'm not going to have any time <laughs> here in the next like week or so. So here we go. Starting lightest to darkest, I will try to get this off, though no, it is a little staining.
So yes, that is the latest from the newest collection of ColourPop. Yes, the Pretty Fly. Well, that's what these are called at least, but it's the spring 2018 ColourPop collection. Yes, um, I, I was intrigued by these, so I'm glad I picked it up. The packaging is just beautiful. I just love the packaging. Um, as far as the lipsticks, they uh, are extremely creamy. You know, they're just like the other Lux ones that were just recently released. They're extremely comfortable, extremely um, moisturizing, just beautiful. You know, they're $7 a piece, and you are getting a lot of color kick from these products. I mean, ColourPop, <laughs> you know, they're called ColourPop for a reason with these colors. For a while, they're going more neutral, and these colors, or you can see, are a big ray of mostly oranges and pinks, like different varying forms of orange and pink with the one more natural looking color. So yeah, these definitely hold a big punch and I'm really liking it actually. I think these are going to be gorgeous for summer, spring. These are just beautiful colors. They last really long. They are staining. As you can see on my lips, they do stain, but that's pretty common with colors this bright. Um, I've had really good luck with the Lux collection. I haven't been wearing these because it's still been kind of cold here in New York City until today. And so I've still been wearing a little bit more of the more dark, somber colors. Oh, yeah, I know. Bing. But it's changing here quickly, and so we'll go to brighter tones. And I think that these are going to be really welcome. I just love it. The packaging's beautiful. You get a lot of lipstick with a lot of pigment for $7. So if you're looking for bright, bold colors for spring to get you out of that dreariness of winter, these are gonna do it. They're really beautiful, seven bucks. I mean, honestly, I, the, the pigment is really great. I, I just, especially for something so discounted, it's just amazing to me. They just, they really never disappoint at ColourPop. So yeah, I'm really happy with this collection. Now for you cool tone girls like myself, and a lot of these oranges will be a little bit of a tougher sell. And I end up picking them up and I'm trying to embrace the orange a little bit more um, just because it is a very sunny color, though it isn't something that I normally gravitate to. With so many oranges that I own, I'll be wearing them a lot this summer and, and we'll see how that goes. So, you know, it's definitely very bright, sunny. I do tend to go a little bit more natural during summer. Um, I tend to go natural in general, <laughs> but not this year. We're gonna add a little bit of color and this is the way to do it. I really think that this is a solid collection. Again, there were other shadows that were brought out individually. I did not buy the whole collection. There's a lot of blushes. There's one I was eyeing, the very, very pink one. And so I may end up picking that in the future, but I didn't pick it up at the time because I do want to stay within a certain amount of budget this year because I am in a low buy. But the funny thing is I'm way below what I had allotted myself. <laughs> so I'm like, it was an $8 blush, but whatever having self-control. So yes, big thumbs up to this collection. It, it's absolutely beautiful for the packaging alone. That's why I bought this. I mean, come on, the packaging is beautiful, but the quality is there. I'm quite happy with it. So yeah, go on out there if you're looking for some bright colors on a budget and you wanna stay with your low buy or you just like keeping um, things affordable, this is for you. I think you'll be happy with this collection. It's really beautiful. I would say if I had to choose though, these eyeshadows aren't necessarily groundbreaking. So you can put that away. Don't buy for packaging like I did, but I would definitely encourage the lipsticks if you're looking for a bright pop of color, especially trendy colors that are really bright, like the orange and the bright pinks, but you don't want to spend a fortune on the higher end brands, may I suggest ColourPop and get those trendy colors and wear them at an affordable price. So yeah, big thumbs up. So until next time, my lovelies, have a fabulous day. <laughs> Bye.